What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Vibe. It's your boy again, and we are back with another Kevin Sang. Okay, like I said before, I'm going to do a few series on Kevin, um, this time talking with some beta males, uh, a couple fellows who, to be their age, they're a little lost. Let's just be like, you know, just say it like that. So I always said, you know, women think guys are out here just killing it, and a lot of these dudes are really not. I mean, guys are really just sitting at home. They are not getting any type of relationships. They ain't having no type of relations, you know what I mean? They are just sitting up in the room. So one called in, get some advice from Kevin, and, well, we'll let y'all see how it go. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share. Definitely hit that notification bell to get the what? The next video. All right, let's hit it. How you doing, man? That's good. Let's get right to it. I got other people in the queue. I've been waiting for you for a minute. What can I do? I just, uh, yeah, man, I've been trying to figure out where I stand, you know, with, with women, man. I mean, I'm How not old against them. How old are you? I'm 34. I'm 34. Wow, 34. Okay. Um, and where do you live? I live in uh, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, you're here in the city. Uh, did you go to college? No, I did. Uh, and what do you do for a living? I work at, I do warehouse work. All right. So, average guy here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, are you a virgin? <laughs> no, no, I'm definitely not. Uh, well, it's not. It's not an insult. I just had a guy who was a virgin. No, so, I'm not. A, no, okay, no, I'm just, not a virgin. Okay, it's, it's not an insult. That's why I'm, <laughs> right. I'm trying to I'm making it to where it, it doesn't matter. I just need to know where you are. So you're trying to figure out where you stand with women. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, when was the last time you uh, had a relationship? I mean, you, uh, that's the whole thing. I never. <laughs> you never had. So you never had a great. Okay, no, I never experienced, but I, you know, I had encounters. No, 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 I need, no, 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 what I'm, no, that's what I'm asking. When was the last time you had a, a woman that claimed you as her boyfriend? Y'all went out in public to the movies and dinner and things like that. And she said, this is my man. I see. That's the thing. I have experienced that, but I ain't never actually been called that. No, okay, seriously. No, 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 okay, okay. So you've never had a relationship. Wow. All right. So. Mm, not okay. technically, but not I have been with movies. Okay. okay so. Like I said before, there are a lot of guys that ladies, y'all think men out here just laying up with everybody because it's just free game. They are not. I'm telling you, I was telling my wife there, I said, majority of guys are sitting at home. They may get sex once every two, three months. Once every two to three months. And everybody thinking, oh, no, man, you crazy, bro. Just because it happens for you, there's a lot of guys out here that's not happening for them. And you can tell because they never with a woman. Never with a woman. They don't go out to eat with them. They don't go to the movies. They don't go to the bars. They don't do anything. They don't invite them to their house. So where are you going to be with this woman? You know what I mean? A lot of them still live at home, live with their grandmothers. You can't bring no grown woman. You're 34 years old. Where are you going to bring this woman? To your grandmother's house and go in the, in the back room on your twin-size bed and lay up with her? Really? Come on. But that's where some of the brothers at. They still sleeping on that bed that their grandmother bought them when they was like kids. Same funky sheets and all. I'm not playing. Okay, look, no heat, no judgment, but I got to get to the basics. If you want me to help you, I got to get yeah. to what I need to. So you've had sex, though. How did you, how did you, have you ever used a prostitute? No, it'd be women I know. I have got to know her, you know, individually. All right. So you I've have... done it too. Right. But when you have sex, normally when you have sex, how does it happen? So, Because it does not happen in the context of a short-term or long-term relationship like most people. That's how most guys have sex. So how do you have sex? Is it with a prostitute or was it just a, 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 a hookup? Um, it, for example, it might, like, I might see a woman at the store or I might be at a Walmart and I might get a number. I might talk and then I might 
go to her house or whatever, and that's how it happened. Chief, I just asked, is it a prostitute or is it a hookup? So that sounds like some sort of hookup, Netflix and chill, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What? This brother is going on the apps and finding that cheap cat and paying for it. When I was uh, when I was in the military part time reserve, there were some guys when we would go, especially in Columbia. I didn't know they did that in Columbia like that. But there were guys would go and hook up with girls for $40. No lie. Columbia, South Carolina. They would go hook up with girls for $40. And I was like, did you know? Nah, bro, she, they be online. Some website they were on. And this was, shit, at least 15 years ago. That's how long this stuff been going on. So they would go down there and get with these girls and come back home. So that's probably what he's doing. He go online, find these sites, these girls that look like crap, sitting at home, want some attention, invite them boys over for $40. That's why that little trend go around $40. That's where it came from, this kind of stuff. So that's what he's doing. I can hear it in his voice. He, try, uh, he can't explain why because he don't want to say he paid for it. But that's what he did. That's all he did. What I'm getting from you is you're not a very clear communicator. Okay, All right. and there's only so far you're going to have a rela with women when you're not a clear communicator. You're 34 years old to never have a relationship is abnormal. It's not the norm. There's something off with the way you talk to women. I mean, if you can talk to a woman and meet her at a grocery store and Y'all can eventually have sex. What happens after y'all have sex? He go back home. Do you ever <laughs> go anywhere with these women? I, I have. Let me I, put that's it this the... way. Do the women, when you, after you have sex with women, who ends the interaction? Is it the women ghosting you or are you leaving them? Be honest. <sighs> women leave you. They leave him. Women leave I'm... you. Women <laughs> leave you, brother. <laughs> Women leave you. I know it. You know it. Everybody in the chat room know it. Look, you know if a guy is not having it on a regular, he's going to be garbage. Y'all know this, ladies. If he's not out there, like I say, everything is it's practice. The more you do it, the better you get at it. When you're younger till you get a little older. He's trash. That's why the women ain't hanging around. He probably fall out, fall asleep, and they looking at him like, you got to get up out of here. He probably not well kept. He probably not groomed. You know what I mean? He doesn't keep himself up. So, and dudes like that, they don't like to bathe either. So they might show up with an odor. You know what I'm saying? All kind of stuff. Looking, you no, know, not trimmed up. All kind of stuff. But in his voice, he sound like he doesn't take care of himself. But you'll say, how that sound? You don't. Look, man. He doesn't have confidence. You can hear it in his voice. Like like Kevin said, his communication skills suck. He, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, but, uh. Just imagine if a nice looking woman's in front of him. But if you go to meet a woman, would you even, you try to shave, put on something nice, get a haircut? But a lot of you dudes don't do it. You show up looking a mess and wonder why she don't want to see you next day. I'm just saying. It doesn't work that way. So the guy who can get casual sex can't maintain it. That means there's a problem with the way you relate to people. And that can be addressed. You need to actually work with somebody to get through whatever your issues are in your head and then start becoming a more effective communicator. Because you're not a virgin. You can have sex, but you can't keep it. That's why you can't get a woman. Right. Because in order to keep a, a woman interested, you gotta be interesting. You understand? Well, how do you be that though? 
I can't give it to you in a 34 year old dude talking. Just, a, just getting to know you. I'm telling you, 34 years old, you are you living an interesting life? I mean, you're 34 working in the warehouse. What are you doing that's interesting? And you know, his father can't be around. He couldn't have been around because he just totally lost. And and see, that's the thing too, when um when these young guys start working in these warehouses and plants at a young age, there's nothing exciting about that stuff. You're in there with a bunch of older people. There's nothing exciting to go talk to. And now women dudes are afraid to bring up that they got a nine to five. Or I work at a plant or I work at, you know, a warehouse. Cause they know it's not exciting. They can't tell their friends. But he work over at over here. Oh, okay. Cause they know you ain't making a lot working over there. You know what I mean? So he has to, he's 34. He should be a, a long, he should be doing a lot more than what he's doing. He's been lazy. He's been sitting on his butt, and I don't know if Kevin can help this dude, to be honest. I really don't. I mean, I like to work out. Okay. I mean, I like to so I like to go out, you know, places and visit places and stuff. Okay, you know, I don't. What are you doing? It's interesting. I mean, I'm in Atlanta. You in Atlanta? You see a woman, I see her. How you gonna beat me? What you got to tell her? Kick, kick it with me, cause I'm got this to offer. I like to do this. I like to do that. This is what I mean. Interesting people, guys who live interesting lives, have no problem with women. Not keeping them, getting them or keeping them. All right, uh, I'm gonna put you on. Uh, go ahead. You got a follow up question, David? I see you. Oh. You got a follow up question, Moto? I can't, I can't fix. It. I can't fix it. In, yeah, I can't uh, fix it in five minutes. But you spent 34 years getting this way. Take some of that warehouse money and work with a professional. Because if you don't learn how to become a more charismatic communicator, if you don't learn the skills to actually be able to make friends and, and sustain well, relationships. Can I, can, I, can I add on what you're saying? Go ahead. See, I didn't have I didn't have none of that when I was a kid, man. I mean, I was a kid, didn't didn't have friends. Um, I didn't go to my, uh, All right. my the... I didn't go to my uh, proms and nothing like that. And what? And at, and at 34 years old, that's your responsibility to address. It's nobody's mm -hmm. concern but your own. No one cares what you did not have. Mm -hmm. That's your problem. Right. You could have gone. So that's it. I didn't have a father. That's my problem. Everybody got something. Right. You could have gone but to when prom. you're next to a beautiful woman after you have sex. That's you. You gotta. You gotta fix that issue. It's blood sport out here in in mating and dating. It's not fair. You gotta compete. Okay. Or you can keep doing this. And you'll be but forty. You'll get old real quick. 34 is probably already getting pretty damn old. Because it sounds like you've never had a loving relationship with a woman. You never had a woman rub your head and tell you it's going to be all right. And you never had a woman. You, see, guys who've never had a woman's love, you're missing a lot. Even though, even the crazy stuff they want to say in these spaces, FBI women, beautiful women who are feminine and inspirational, provide a hell of a lot more than just vagina. But you got to bring that out of a woman. All right, man. Hope that helped. All right. Yeah, so that guy there, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. He needs to lock down a woman. And I and see, I know what the deal is because I know some of these guys. They want one of these IG model girls. I see it all the time. I know I got a couple friends out there. They look a hot mess. They overweight, they sloppy, don't keep themselves groomed up, but they be online all the time posting these IG looking girls, these girls, these BBLs and breasts out to here, little tops, always posting these type of girls. Sometimes they always saying some foul stuff. And I always look at them and I was like, 
Now, if a girl like that came in your life, you would spend all the money you ever you ever had in your life to, to take care of her. But you won't lie dragging women when you know you would never had a woman like that. And then most of them still live at home. Damn near 40 or at 40, still live at home. Sound like this dude. They online on these sites, buying it on the side. But you know, once your time up, you got to go. They're not going to sit around there and rub on you and hug you and tell you everything going to be all right. But that's why you start your kids out early in relationships. That's why somebody has to be there to coach them through it. That's why fathers need to stay. Ladies, y'all need the fathers to stick around. And you got to let him talk to the sons about this kind of stuff. And y'all supposed to talk to your daughters. And then y'all come together and have a conversation. But we're not doing that because we've gotten away from co-parenting. But you have to do this. And I know a lot of guys who are not, they don't talk to their kids about sex. I asked my friend, I said, did you talk to your son? Like, no, you talked to your, I said, yeah. I said, your boy about to leave, go to college in a little bit. You ain't talked to him? Nah, man, you know. He just starting to get into girls. What you want him to slip up? Right before he go off to college and make a baby or something? So that's why I say you got to talk to these kids. They don't know. They really don't know. They just go by what they think they know. And all you will end up with a kid whose self-confidence is at the bottom level that he's 34 years old and calling in and asking questions as if he's still 20 years old. I don't know how he's because he got to get with her. He got to have probably find a, he can probably find a young girl. I just hope she ain't too young where she's underage. Because those are the type of dudes that'll go for that. Well, guys, that's all I got on this. I hope y'all liked it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do some series on the big man, the Godfather. Make sure y'all hit that um, like, share, and subscribe. Definitely like the video. Cause like I say, YouTube and the algorithms are killing me. So let's go ahead and help brother out. And let's go ahead and uh, keep the Godfather alive. And that's all I got. And it's your boy, and I'm up out of here. Y'all be good. Peace.